live from San Diego, college football on CBS Sports Network, presented by Best Western. The San Diego State Aztecs are 6-0 for the first time in 42 years as they welcome the Broncos of Boise State. Trying to keep pace in the Mountain Division with Wyoming and Colorado State, the Aztecs and Fresno State both 2-0 in the West. With Ginny Dell on the sideline, Aaron Taylor, I'm Carter Blackburn. Despite the fact that San Diego State is ranked in the top 25 and they are undefeated, champions the last two years of this league, the Aztecs feel like it's still Boise State that gets the bulk of the attention in this conference. That has added a little extra fuel to the fire. There certainly has been some. And what's interesting is in the preseason, both of these teams were picked to win their respective divisions, yet oddly feel disrespected. Brian Hart has told us Tonight is going to be a fist fight. We're going to find out what we're made of. And when we asked Rocky Long what some of the keys of the game were, he said, it's not about X's and O's. This is going to come down to the Jimmys and Joes at the line of scrimmage. And they have a pretty good Jimmy and Joe with Rashad Penny, the early Heisman Trophy candidate, one of the best running backs anywhere in college football. Third in the FBS with over 165 rushing yards a game. Six straight 100-yard games. Only Marshall Falk better and 12 total touchdowns. Rashad Penny has done it all for the Aztecs. He is a workhorse power back, Carter. And one of the things that allows him to be so successful is that he's patient and he's got great vision. He allows his blockers to set up the blocks, but he's added a power element running through tackles and running behind his pads, so to speak, and being physical. But that's not all he can do is run the football. He's also made some plays out of the backfield. And if Boise State defensively can't find an answer for number 20 tonight, it could be a long one for the Broncos. Well, Penny has put up a lot of great numbers. Eight straight wins now for San Diego State, but it's not just Rashad Penny. Quarterback Kristen Chapman has really elevated his game to the next level. He's no longer a game manager. And keep your eye tonight on number 14, Tariq Thompson, true freshman, having a heck of a year. Meanwhile, for Boise State, you would have thought the one thing that was certain for the Broncos this year is Brett Rippon, their quarterback, two-time All-Mountain West Conference selection, and yet in part because of some spotty offensive line play, allowing Rippon to be sacked eight times. He was knocked out of Washington State, missed New Mexico, able to come back against Virginia, but they lost that game by week. The offense and Brett Rippon looked better against BYU. You're highlighting the old line, Carter. I'm coaching you up pretty well. That's going to be key tonight because what it's going to did last week was allow Alexander Madison to rush for over 100 yards a career high. A hundred of those were in the third quarter alone. As the game were on, he stepped his game up. That running game really allowed Brett Rippon to kind of find his own motor. The offensive line, without question, is the key tonight for Boise State. Amber Brian Hurst, the former Bronco quarterback, says it is not all on Brett Rippon. This has been a problem for the entire offense, the entire team. Expects Rippon to play well tonight against Rocky Long's San Diego State Aztecs. Miracle on the Mesa Part 2 for San Diego State and Rocky Long. And for more on this unique rivalry, here's Jenny Bell. Well, Carter, in 2014, the Mountain West Championship belonged to Boise State, but the last two years, that title has gone to the Aztecs. But you have to go all the way back to the regular season in 2014 to find the last time that these two teams have played. That was Brian Harson's first year as a head coach at Boise State. Now, the Broncos and the Aztecs, they've only played each other four times, and three out of the last four were close battles. Coach Long told me he respects Boise State's program and believes this game will be highly contested and physical, and guys, Coach Harson agrees. With a solid crowd on hand here to watch the Broncos and the Aztecs, it is... At long last, time for kickoff between San Diego State and Boise State. Velasquez will kick it off. And San Diego State has two explosive return men in Rashad Penny and Jawan Washington. It will be a touchback to begin as Penny takes it out the back of the end zone. So San Diego State football at the 25 as we look at our Chick-fil-A starting lineups. Christian Chapman, the junior from Carlsbad, California, where he was all avocado league. He's not asked to throw the football a lot for San Diego State, 
But how about 4-0 in postseason games, 19-3 as the Aztec starting quarterback, and now 111 straight passes without an interception. He is doing it all at quarterback for San Diego State. Great decision maker. Last interception was into the first half of the first game versus UC Davis on a Hail Mary. Decision making and turnovers could be a big factor in this game that features two offenses that like to control the football. Penny in the backfield behind the fullback, Nick Bauden. Chapman will hand off on first down, trying the left side. Penny wrapped up. Penny is dropped for a loss. Ekoa Nawahine, the strong safety, gets the tackle for loss. Let's look at the rest of the offense. Well, keep your eye on the right side of that offensive line. Number 67, Antonio Rosales, and number 77, Ryan Pope, the right guard and tackle, respectively. Both have been kind of battling some injuries. Joe Salcido, 78, was playing, but Ryan Pope filling in for him. That right side of the offensive line needs to be there tonight to get this ground game going. Boise State really loaded the box. They're trying to stop this run and make Chapman beat them here early, it appears. Chapman out of the gun on second down. Pressure, Chapman steps up. Chapman spinning, and he will take it to the 30-yard line to give San Diego State a chance on third down. Third and five coming up as we look at the Boise State defense. Well, one of the better defenders in the Mountain West Conference is David Moa, the Tongan Moa constrictor. Had three tackles a week ago, eight and a half sacks a year ago. He's a disrupt disruptive force at the point of attack. Penetration kills the run game. Moa's capable of doing that. It's going to be a good battle in the trenches tonight between San Diego State's offensive line and Boise State defensively. Third and five, Chapman again out of the shotgun. Broncos show pressure, back off. Chapman to the air for the first time, tips in it. Incomplete. Avery Williams in coverage, intended for Michael Holder, and the Boise State defense gets a three and out. Three and out started with a good first down play, stopped for no gain. Good protection that time, but great blanketed coverage by a DB group that has done a remarkable job so far this season. Avery Williams started a week ago, starting here at Gorn at corner. Great coverage, three consecutive really nice plays for Boise State to start this game. Williams knocks it away as a cornerback and then back as a punt returner. Already has a punt return for a TD this season. Williams lets it bounce at the 35. Thought about scooping it up, but the Aztecs down it near the 26 as we look at our Chick-fil-A starting lineups on this side of the football with Brett Rippon. I mean, this is, it was very clear from Brian Harson saying, it is frustrating, really. He threw a pick on the opening season series at BYU and Brian Harson said that was my bad on me 100% wrong play you can tell Brian Harson kind of taking it personally the criticism of Brett Rippon because he still has full faith in his quarterback and he should he's been a, a remarkable quarterback thus far extremely accurate passer with a quick release he's calm in the pocket really nice job operating this offense a week ago against BYU Madison with him in the backfield on first and ten Ripping out of the shotgun. Quick hitter over the middle is caught. Complete, and that's Jake Rowe as we look at the rest of the Boise State offense. We talked about at the top of the show, the offensive line has to show up and do their thing because that's going to allow wide receiver Cedric Wilson to be able to catch some passes from Brett Rippon. He's one of the better receivers in this conference, and San Diego State defensive coordinator Danny Gonzalez said, aside from Michael Gallup, I think he's the best that we've seen in this league. On second and six, Madison tries the left side. Madison has enough for a first down and delivers a blow to Trey Lomax at the end of the run on a bit of a statement run for Madison and Boise State. Really nice job out on the perimeter by A.J. Richardson, number seven. Look at the left top of your screen right there. Does a good job of being able to hold his block while not holding the defender to be allowed Madison to be able to get to the perimeter and pick up the first down. Now they spotted Madison out before the first down. Uh, Ripping to pass on third and five. Max protect, Ripping throws incomplete, intended for Cedric Wilson. And the San Diego State defense gets another stop. Ron Smith in coverage on Wilson. 
Combined 0-4 for these offenses to start the night. Good protection up front. They bring some blitzes. Rippon has time, but the coverage is just so good. He tries to lead Wilson coming across. He throws it low and away. But again, there's Ron Smith, one of the leaders of that back end, had two pass breakups a week ago. He got tested, but responded here very nicely. Quinn Skillen hits it again. Truxton lets it bounce at the 20. Truxton scoops it up at the 15, and he is driven back. So the Aztecs are backed up again. Zeros on the scoreboard so far as the defense winning the day. San Diego State's average starting field position is its own 17. They have it from the 14 here. The toss on the left side. Penny is wrapped up and dropped by Avery Williams, who has come out playing solid ball. This is the hit from Laka Laka on Thomas. And you see C.T. Thomas right as he was about to get hit, dropped his head in a very defensive protective motion, but he gets up and is a little bit wobbly. That's something we need to keep our eyes on. You love his toughness, but safety and health are much more important. Well, Brian Harson saying we have to match their physicality. If we don't match that, then we don't have a chance. Penny on the edge. Wrapped up again as Williams is doing his part to bottle up one of the nation's best running backs, and Rashad Penny. This front seven of Boise is doing a nice job. This time they do set the edge and force Penny to be back up inside where he was waiting for the safety and the linebacker flow. A lot of times if you get the linebackers flowing over the top, it can open up some things backside for the cutbacks. That was true for San Diego State a week ago against UNLV. It goes back to that negative rushing yards by Rashad Penny that you mentioned on early downs. So third and long from their own 11. Leg line winding down again. Give it to Penny. Slipping out of the first tackle, Rashad Penny. On third and long, put it in the hands of Rashad Penny. Leighton Vander Esch stands him up, and San Diego State will have to punt again. And backed up again. So the Bronco defense stuffing the Aztecs run game. Chase Hatada came from that right hand side, number 93, and spooked Penny to the left, delaying him enough for that pursuit to show up with all those white helmets. Boise State has yet to allow a hundred yard rusher so far this season, and they may be well on their way tonight. Brandon Heikland, the former Boise State Bronco, now San Diego State Aztec, punts to Avery Williams, has it at the 50. Williams down the sideline, cuts it back. Williams inside the 25. Avery Williams will take it back for a Boise State touchdown. 53 yards, but there is a flag down. If it stands, the second punt return for a touchdown for the freshman Avery Williams. During the run back, sideline warning on the Boise State bench. There's no penalty yardage. It's just a warning. The result of the play is a touchdown. Avery Williams and the Boise State defense has stuffed San Diego State at the line of scrimmage. And now Williams breaks it for the game's first points. This is the third phase that we talked about. I felt like San Diego State kind of outkicked its coverage. And then they got all bottled up, stacked up on each other, condensing the lanes, giving Avery Williams free reign. He hits the sideline and then cuts back for a beautiful run in this game's first score. Hayden Holgarth on to the PAT. With the offenses stymied, the Boise State defense back San Diego State up. They have to punt it to Williams, and he does the rest. 53 yards, and Boise State jumps out to a 7-0 start on the Aztecs. The former home of the Chargers. And now the Aztecs have the place to themselves. You know, formerly Jack Murphy Stadium and then Qualcomm. Now it's SDCCU and the, the continuing sphinx of the San Diego <laughs> Stadium where will the Aztecs play, where they'll be an MLS team. But for now, here's what we know. San Diego State 6-0. Boise State has the lead 7-0. The rest of that talk and wait. Velasquez kickoff. 
Another touchback at the 25. Brian Harson said, we'll find out what we're made of this week. In this physical contest, you would grade Boise State as solid physically against the Aztecs to start. They've shown up, had great ball awareness, chasing, tackling, and playing with great hand leverage at the point of attack. Play fake Chapman over the middle. It is caught at the 40-yard line. There is a flag down as Holder holds it in. It stands. There's no foul on the play for a chop block. The result of the play is a first down. Just the second of the night. For clarification, they're saying there's no foul on the play for a chop block. Jawan Washington went low, and I think that's what the initial call was, but they then picked up the flag. And San Diego State moving the chains on first down through the air. We talked about Chapman's ability to throw. He may have to do more so with the way Boise State's playing up front. At their own 40, this is the farthest San Diego State has moved the football tonight, and they're going to move back a couple more yards. Another tackle for loss. It was Jawan Washington on the carry as he takes this series. Penny on the bench. The left tackle that time, Tyler Romer, gets his face crossed. Watch the left side of the screen. He just allows the defender to go inside. He comes from backside, but there's a ton of white helmets there. Durant Miles, 91 among them. Penetration is the kryptonite to the running game, and Boise State is doing a wonderful job. Third tackle for loss tonight for Boise State defensively. Chapman hit again as he throws to the outside. It's complete again. Holder holds it in to make it third and five. But Chapman took another pop. Matt Locker laid the lick. They are letting defenders run free again. Chapman gets hit from his backside completely unblocked coming from downhill. That's Matt Locker, the nose tackle, finding a way to get the ball to put a pressure on the quarterback. This offensive line for San Diego State has been very good run blocking, but has struggled in pass protection and looks to be doing so again here tonight. On third and five, Chapman pressured again. Chase from behind. Chapman tosses it. That is picked up and run back for a Boise State touchdown. Rule on the field is a backward pass that was loose, recovered by the defense, and returned for a touchdown. 34 yards on the return. Jawan Washington Carter had an opportunity to pick this ball up, but he completely stopped. It was like he thought it was an incomplete forward pass. He had a chance to recover this. And now we'll look. It's cold backwards pass, therefore live football. Mm. See Washington right there stop. It was extremely close. We talked about Chapman's decision making under any circumstances. He's just got to take that sack. And that backwards pass return for a touchdown gives Boise State a 14 nothing lead. Incredible. Both touchdowns non-offensive. The punt return for a touchdown. And now the fumble recovery for a touchdown. Bogart's PAT. There was the punt return for a touchdown, and then a minute 57 later. The backwards pass returned for another touchdown. Celebration time for the Broncos. Canejo returns the backwards pass for a touchdown, and Boise State, who still doesn't have a first down in the game, leads 14-0. When you're on the road, you got to show up defensively. They've done that, but the third phase, only about 18% of the game are special teams, but they've shown up big here. Boise State looks ready to play as San Diego State does not. Washington picks it up on a bounce. Velasquez get down the field to make that stop. <laughs> Chapman hands off to Penny. Yeah, 18. The former Charger, right? <laughs> Old habits. Old habits die hard, that is for sure. 14 points in the game for Boise State. They have 14 yards of total offense. That is one of the most bizarre numbers you'll see all day in what's been a bizarre day in college football. Bizarre weekend in college football. It certainly has, and that's extremely 
complimentary football and a testament to Brian Harson and the job that he's done getting this team ready to play since the bye week. On second and eight, hand off to Petty, and he's dropped again for a loss. Boise State is giving Rashad Penny nothing. There's nowhere for him to go. Look at all the penetration here. Scraping linebacker safeties. One, two, three, four, five white hats. Just no room to run up front. That means that Christian Chapman, with his arm, is going to have to hit some passes downfield to be able to back this defense up because right now they're not respecting San Diego State's passing game and for good reason Avery Williams is shutting down Michael Holder and the rest of the receivers five tackles for loss Chapman on third and nine stepping up and he's sacked Frazier has a sack a dominant performance by the Boise State defense in the first quarter second sack Five tackles for loss. Christian Chapman and the San Diego State offense can do nothing against the Broncos. Double breakdowns here from both sides. 74 Tyler Romer and number 20 Rashad Penny both get beat. And that pressure leads to another three and out for the Aztecs. Eichland punts again. Williams lets this one bounce at the 45. Thought that might have touched him. Yeah, it was real close. Real close. This game's going to come down to not flinching, though. A lot of football left to be played. On first and 10, Madison on the left side of the line. A push to near the 50 for Alexander Madison, the sophomore from San Bernardino. Jeremy McNichols, McWeapon, now with Tampa Bay, fifth round pick. The, well, the San Diego State defense has done its job. They're down 14 nothing. Rippin, quick hitter to the outside. Rowe has the grab, short of the first down. Third and short coming up as we finally look at the San Diego State defensive starters. Well, Cameron Kelly's had a pretty good year, as is Trey Lomax. We featured Tariq Thompson early, but Ron Smith, number 17, plays the left cornerback. He's been picked on some this year, but the coach has raved about the way that he responded. This defense top to bottom on all three levels has done a fairly good job tonight, particularly winning on third down. Let's see what they can dial up here on this third and short. It's Cozart in at quarterback. Montel Cozart, fifth year senior, on third and one. Cozart takes the snap, looking for a block on the right side, slips through across the 45-yard line. The first first down of the night for Boise State. First time they've crossed the 50 on offense. So. A lot of firsts, and they've done a remarkable job of being patient and sticking with it. Montel Cozart is a player that has a ton of maneuverability and athleticism and gives them some juice at that quarterback position. Cozart, the graduate transfer from Kansas, started seven games with the Jayhawks last year, started the New Mexico game when Brent Rippon was out with a concussion. So Cozart on first down to Madison with a head of steam inside the 40-yard line. He's also got a pretty quick release, too. He can throw that football a little bit and get it out. Lomax there on the stop. And Boise State's going to be pretty happy to end this first quarter with a 14-0 lead. Brian Harson said we go to San Diego and take on the Aztecs. We'll find out what we're made of. And it's the Broncos who have come out sprinting with a 14-0 start here in San Diego. Boise State on a mission late night in Cali. For the Aztecs have wins over Arizona State and Stanford out of the Pac-12. Eight straight wins. They're 6-0 over the first time since 75. And yet, Boise State has brought the fight. 14-0 Broncos, despite a little offense from either side. Definitely been a defensive battle, and Boise State is winning special teams, which is why they're up two touchdowns. 
fling it to Wolpen. Officially a forward pass. Wolpen out of the backfield. It's to the 42-yard line as Kelly and Lomax make the stop. Third down coming up. Uso swing passes his perimeter runs. Same concept. It does exactly what they wanted to be able to create for offensive coordinator Zach Hill. Third down has been a battle that's been going back and forth so far. Both defenses getting the better of the offenses. But Boise State's been pretty patient and has executed a little bit better. Let's see what they got on this one. Amazing, only two third down conversions in the game. Ripping on third and five. Fling to the outside. Wilson has it on the edge. Cedric Wilson inside the 25. So Rippin with the strike to the senior from Memphis who's holding his left shoulder. Wilson has come up Gibby a couple of times tonight. Beautiful football. Look at this location by Brett Rippin in stride in the breadbasket away from the defender in tight coverage. Just takes a pop there and then immediately grabs that left shoulder. 19-yard gain. First and 10. Rippin fakes it twice to the air. Complete on the outside. That's Madison barreling his way to near another first down. Alexander Madison is running with a purpose that time after the catch. Ronley Laka Laka missed the tackle that time on one on one coverage. 39, the left side of your screen. Ripping with plenty of time to throw right there. Just takes a bad angle. And Boise State continues to be able to get big chunk yardage, finding some holes in San Diego State's defense. First red zone trip for either side. Montel Kozoy, design run on second six, wrapped up and dropped. Ron Smith gets the tackle for loss, forcing third down and pushing Boise State back outside the 20 on their first trip to the red zone. This time it's San Diego State that loads the box and comes from the second level. Nice job by Ron Smith coming up, filling the void from that left cornerback position, helping in the run support. Giving a third and long here. Cozart motions out. Toss it to him. Cozart on third and nine with the grab. Takes it for a first down. So they motion Cozart out as a receiver. And the Boise State wrinkle. You know there's going to be one coming. This time it's ripping to Cozart first down. And that's the weapon that Cozart brings. He's lined up offset. He goes out. Nobody goes with him. It's zone coverage. So now you've got three against two right there. He makes one of the defenders miss. And there's nobody there in run support. That is a complete gotcha. Brilliant play call by the Broncos. Second reception. Had one at Kansas and now one with the Broncos. On first and ten. Madison with a big hole ahead. Madison takes it to the six. Done on the stop. And here comes a late flag. Personal foul. Grasping the face mask. Defense number 57. Half the distance to the goal from the end of the run. Automatic first down. That's Ryan Dunn, one of the linebackers in this 3-3-5 defense for Rocky Long, extending the chains and getting Boise even closer. Our red zone brought to you by Verizon, and this has been one of the issues for the Broncos offense. Only 58% touchdown percentage in the red zone. <laughs> It's first and goal. We'll give you a variety of looks in the red zone. Yep. Madison in the backfield behind Rippin. Madison takes it on first and goal. Stretching. Lomax makes the stop. Cameron Kelly flashed immediately in the backfield and missed the tackle. San Diego State is typically a pretty good tackling team, but I got to say they have looked lethargic tonight. Certainly not like a team that is hungry to be able to make some noise on the national stage. This was supposed to be a statement by San Diego State. Instead, it's the Broncos making the statement here as Rippin backs into the shotgun on second and goal. Rippin on the roll to the end zone. Roll! 
holds it in and heavy traffic. Touchdown, Boise State. All Broncos, a three touchdown lead on 19th ranked San Diego State. This is just a beautiful job. Look at the communication. He points right here, come back to me. He does, knowing that he's gonna get hit, but Rippon puts the football in a location where only Rowe can get it, and great job with strong hands by number 88 to put Boise State up by three touchdowns, and this stadium is quiet. That's six total touchdowns on the year for Rowe. Four receiving, two rushing. Now Hogarth for the PAT. Good hold. Hogarth boots it through. Aztecs need a reset. Down 21 0. First three possessions. The Broncos ran 12 plays. This, an 11 play touchdown drive. 21 0. San Diego State ranked 19th. They're undefeated. They have the big wins over the Power Five schools, the Pac 12s. Brian Hartson said, that's what we used to be, and there's no use talking about all the things that Boise State football has accomplished. He said it's 2017, and we didn't have a very good start to the year. Reset button, back to fundamentals of the bye week. They look good against BYU. They look phenomenal tonight. They're flying around the football. They're winning on special teams. The offense is getting some things going. San Diego State looks lethargic. I don't know if they got to get Penny out on the outside edge like we opened the show with and use him as a receiver. But unless this offensive line for San Diego State starts playing a heck of a lot better, it's going to be a long night for the Aztecs and more of the same. Penny in the backfield. In around Michael Holder. Holder across the 30 as we check in with Jenny. Well, Carter, San Diego State leader Antonio Rosales went up to Kahali Waring after missing that pass on the last third down. And he said, forget about what happens. Put it in the pass. Pretend like it doesn't exist. You're going to get another chance. And when you do go get it, guys, he's really trying to motivate this team. It's going to be have to, there's going to have to be a lot of putting things in the pass for San Diego State because uh, that's that's indicative of what they have failed to do tonight against Boise State. I, I don't know if it can get much worse than the first six possessions of San Diego State tonight. Chapman second and four. Pressured again. Chapman dropped again. It'll be another sack. Loss of only one, but mark down another sack and another tackle for loss. It's David Moa, the San Diego native. Chapman, this is a three-step drop. He wants to fire the ball, but there's nowhere to throw. He decides to pull it down. I don't know if that sack's on the offensive line versus Chapman not seeing what it is he wanted, and he decides to scramble, and Moa, the <laughs> dong and boa constrictor, wraps him up. Third sack, eighth tackle for loss. Chapman going to have to pull it again. And now Chapman on the scramble dives for a first down. Whitney finally brings him down. Chapman nowhere to go with the football. Scrambles to move the chains, but minute 49 left in the half. That's the thing you got to keep your eye on is the clock. These little dink and dunks and taking sacks in a two-minute situation when you haven't been able to throw is not ideal. They're not managing this clock situation well. They've got two timeouts. They got to try and push this ball down the field and work the edges a little bit. Chapman pressured again, sacked again. Curtis Weaver gets this sack. Fourth sack, ninth tackle for loss. He's lined up over the right tackle. Joe Salcedo does a good job punching, but he gets his right arm collapsed and just runs around. Just a nice job. Tied first on the team with sacks coming in tonight with three. Gets his fourth tonight. San Diego State's got a gut check. That's Quest Truxton with the grab. I liked uh, Deshaun Watson giving Andrew Catalan a nice little pop on the Twitter uh, after Andrews, Syracuse Orangeman, took out Clemson. Yes, I did say Orangeman. Still like to get that in. All right, third and five here. That was almost a full 60 seconds. Uh huh. Hey, 
Chapman is sacked again. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. Frazier has the sack. Boise State is whipping San Diego State play after play. I mean, this is just full turn protection. Nobody hits him from the backside. That's a bust in protection up front. Either Chapman has to change the protection. They got to get out of the play, but that's a gotcha. Just bad communication. You see the offensive line talking to Chapman. You don't full turn slide away from an unblocked defender on the backside. Nothing working for the Aztecs. Boise State defense. Hats off to him. Chapman has five completions and has been sacked five times. Williams, fair catch, grabs it at the 25-yard line. Halftime with Boise State 21-0. They have taken the fight to the Aztecs of San Diego State. Broncos dominant in the first half, 21-0. San Diego State needs a fresh start. And the worst way, we take a break. As the number 19 team in the country, 6-0, San Diego State had their eyes on the New Year's Six Bowl, but those big goals for San Diego State in jeopardy at the half, 21-0. Carter Blackburn, Aaron Taylor, Jimmy Dell on the sideline. A dominant first half performance by Boise State's defense. Well, Boise State wanted to come to the table and stop the run first, and they absolutely did that. Coach Harson, we started the show talking about we want to see what we're made of. Well, their defense is made of some tough cookies over on that side of the ball. It started with stopping the run. That forced San Diego State into many passing situations. The defensive line has been dominant in both the run and pass game, forcing Christian Chapman into some bad decisions. And it's been all Boise State defensively. They're their special teams have shown up, and that's a big reason why they're up 21 to nothing because they're winning at the line of scrimmage. First half stats brought to you by Humana. Ten tackles for loss, and Rashad Penny, who was third in the nation in rushing yards per game, only 22 in the first half. And Boise State gets the football to begin the second half. A chance to add to this 21 nothing lead. Only one of those touchdowns was offensive. You had the punt return for a TD. Fumble recovery for a TD. And now from out of the end zone, Avery Williams, who had the punt return for a touchdown on kick return, takes it across the 35 to near the 45-yard line for Avery Williams as we check in with Jenny Dell. Well, Carter, we've been talking a lot about physicality, and Coach Harson told me he's pleased with the physicality, but clearly this team isn't playing perfect. He believes that the... Uh, I'm sorry, they need to continue getting after Chapman, but believes the Aztecs will throw the ball more in the second half, so defense needs to get ready for that. And Boise's focus is to work on their passing game. Now, as far as Coach Long goes, he told me that big plays or mistakes will decide this win. Exactly what's happening. They need to develop field position, and guys, no surprise here, need to get Penny going. Well, it, it's pretty clear that San Diego State needs to get back to being the Aztecs. It started them at 6-0. and And there's a big pop on Jake Rowe. Tariq Thompson, the true freshman from St. Augustine High School here in San Diego, who's playmaker, trying to set the tone in the second half. Yeah, we featured him early in the game for good reason, for those sorts of exact plays. He's a true freshman. I think Rocky Long is like, is right. They've got to be physical, and that's a great way to start this first drive. But look at the field position Boise is starting this second half with. That's really been the story of this game through two quarters. Six straight completions for Rippin. Handing off Madison. That's a tough run to get to the 49 for Madison. He's gotten better, it seems, from even last week. The coaches were really harping on him, Carter, about being more decisive. Put your foot in the ground, no dancing, get north and south. He does that on that last play and gets a third and very makeable medium here to start the second half. He's turning into a nice runner, but they're going to need more from him. Low snap, ripping third and fourth, Simpson almost picked. It would have been a pick six by Tariq Thompson, who already has an 83-yard pick six this year. That's what the Aztecs needed. It is a... It was the low snap that threw the timing off. Rippon came up and kind of telegraphed his, through, his throw. Tariq jumped. Thompson jumped it. 
and almost went to the house. But it was that errant snap, something we've seen show up for Boise State, not only tonight, but in weeks previous, it kind of threw the timing of that playoff. Three and out, Skillen hangs it high. Fair catch called for by Truxton. He'll let it bounce at the six, and it sneaks into the end zone. So the Broncos can down it. Touchback, San Diego State. Third and long from their own 21. Chapman deep shot downfield trying to light it. And it's caught inside the 40-yard line. Trevelyan makes the grab. And the big play the Aztecs needed. 39 yards through the air from Chapman. It's an underthrown ball, but it's a 50-50 ball that Trevelyan at the top of the screen ends up winning. He's matched up in one-on-one -on -one coverage with Tyler Horton, who does a nice job of body presencing him to the sideline. But give Trevelyan credit, he does a nice job holding what they call the red line, giving himself some room to be able to come back. High points the football for the biggest gain of the night for the Aztecs. Both Penny and Washington in the backfield with Chapman. So play fake, Chapman first and 10. Trying to roll again. Nothing there downfield, Chapman near the line of scrimmage. Louis finishes off the play. Really good coverage that time downfield. Chapman needs to be more decisive when he wants to take off and run. It looked like he wanted to get north and south and then kind of came back. If you want to extend the play, get outside the pocket, keep your shoulders square with your eyes downfield. Seem to be in no man's land a little bit on that last one. Bauden back in at fullback in front of Penny. Behind the chains again. And off Penny straight ahead. Had a steam as he hits the hole this time. Still shoved back by Frazier. Uh, Penny got to the 37. Third and seven. Just watching a lot of run through backers. Guys on the second level, Matt Locker that time, 54, flashed. The run-throughs are scaring the backs like Penny out of the hole. You've got to get a hat on a hat, but again, Boise's loading the box, crossing face, playing downhill. Doesn't leave you many options. This is an area of the field where they like to bring pressure. We haven't seen the screen game yet show up, but less than one yard per rush so far tonight for San Diego State. Leading to third and seven. Chapman over the middle. Holder is blown up. Nawahine knocks it free from Michael Holder. You need some help from his teammates to get back on his feet. The Broncos bring in the physicality again. Nawahine had nine tackles. He's on the hash mark on the left side. Telegraph that all the way coming across the field. Chapman was locked on him the whole time. That's what gives Nawahini a heads up that that ball's coming. And my gosh, is Micah Holder pay the price with an extremely clean hit coming across the middle. So Heiklin on the punt again. Played last year at Boise State. Was allowed to transfer because of a, a family health situation without sitting out a year. And a good punt. Brandon Heiklin. So out of bounds inside of the 10. Boise State gets a football up by three touchdowns. Ripping hands off. Madison on the right side. Taking Ron Smith with him as he gets across the 15 close to another first down. Really nice job that time on the outside edge. Alex Danens hooking the defensive end. Again, defenses break down when they give up the edge and contain, and that's exactly what happened there. Second and one, Madison has enough push on the left side to move the chains. San Diego State defensively, that's been the thing that they've done the best tonight. They have to generate a play there. We saw earlier Tariq Thompson dropped what could have been a pick six where he couldn't come down with the football. They need a turnover here, something to spark this team that still seems to be a little bit lethargic coming out at halftime. Cozart back at quarterback, fifth-year senior in Kansas City. They're not afraid to let him throw it every once in a while also. Handing off, Wolpen. Nothing much doing on first down. The rush for Wolpen, the fifth-year senior from Tribuca Canyon, California. Ripping back in a QB. San Diego State defensively hasn't moved as much as you typically see them do. BYU stayed really static, and I think that was part of the factor of Boise State being able to run a little bit. 
this 3-3-5 defense, three down linemen, three linebackers, five defensive back, is built on athleticism and quickness and penetrating the gaps. On second and eight, Rippin flings to the outside. That's monster on the grab. Good sign for Boise State. Mason Hampton back out there at center for the Broncos. Didn't play last week, been banged up. Ian Garrett Larson switching off center duties, but the fifth year senior back out there for Boise State. It's good to see him back out there. We talked about it earlier. Five different starting offensive line units for Boise State. Hard to get that continuity, but to their credit, they've kind of buckled down. And offensive line coach Brad Bedell done a nice job improving this unit week by week. Ripping on third and three to the air and incomplete intended for Cedric Wilson. Left it too long. Kelly there in coverage. And Parker Baldwin, the leading tackler on this team, was making a beeline to go over there to be able to help his cornerback. I'll tell you what, if Cedric Wilson had caught that ball, he would have took a shot. But credit San Diego State's defense. They won on first down, which set them up for successful second and third downs. They're putting the ball back with maybe decent field position to see if their offense can muster any sort of production on that side of the ball. Quinn Skillen. Hangs it high again. Chuckson at the 10. Chuckson makes the first man miss. Went out of bounds. They mark him out right around the 10. Maybe the 11 there for Quest Truxton. But Aztecs backed up again. Down 21-0. I think the Perez family has bought up all of the 33 Boise State jerseys that exist. Gabe Perez's family are Geico difference makers, beginning with Brent Rippon, has his second touchdown pass of the season to Jay Groh. And then the entire Boise State defense, including Mr. Perez. Christian Chapman, play action, first and 10, deep shot, has a man downfield, caught! It's Joe Fillion inside the 10, touchdown, San Diego State! The Aztecs finally on the board in spectacular fashion on 89-yard touchdown. The first touchdown catch by a San Diego State wide receiver comes in phenomenal fashion for Fred Trevilian. The PAT is good, and with 4.15 to go in the third, San Diego State Trying to fight its way back into the bowl game with the Broncos. First down pass. Once again, it's tight press man coverage. The safety goes right, leaving the cornerback one-on-one. -on -one. And Fred Trevilian just running a simple go route. The beautifully thrown ball. He had to hold up and hesitate right there at the last minute, but catches it and then makes the defender miss. A poor tackle, one of the few of Boise State. And the Aztecs get injected with some life on offense. Another big play, really been the story offensively all night long for San Diego State. Feast or famine? That's just the fifth catch of the year. Fifth catch as an Aztec for Trevilian. The longest pass play of the year for San Diego State prior to that was 42 yards at Air Force. That one goes for 89. And now Cedric Wilson on the return. So with a crowd of 49,000, finally something to cheer about for San Diego State. Can Rippon silence them again in a 21-7 game? That number of 49,053 would be almost double any crowd that the L.A. Chargers have drawn this year. And they all got woken up on that last play, and that's what big plays will do for you. And Jenny talked about it right at halftime as we came out and alluded to Rocky Long making that comment. It appears that that has been spot on as Boise State tries to get quiet this crowd as Montel Cozart back under center. Cozart hands off, Madison on the right side, across the 25, pushing across the 30. Let's check in with Jenny. 
But yeah, Coach Harson told me that 10% of this team is relentless competitors who want to win. 80% of the guys want to be in that top 10%, and then you have 10% that just aren't there. Now I'm listening to all these guys motivating each other on the sideline. The team was fired up. I'll let you go here, Carter. Madison on the outside, has a first down and more, shaking his way across the 40. Yeah, the team was fired up in the first half of the game. It seemed like they had that, like, act like we've been here before mentality until that Aztec touchdown. I saw them get going. They seem like they're focused again now. Playing like it on this drive with Cozart at quarterback. Cozart on first and 10. Flings it to the outside. That's Wilson. He shakes his way across the 30. Cedric Wilson finally knocked out inside the 10. Parker Baldwin makes the stop. It's a gain of 40 as Cozart to Wilson. And the Aztecs flustered again. Cameron Kelly, when he played safety a year ago, missed a lot of tackles. Just overruns it. He's got some help there. That time, Tariq Thompson slipped and got up. Kelly needs to throttle down, keep his feet, and be able to force Wilson back inside to the run pursuit. A missed tackle, one of the few, is costly. On first and goal, Wolpen inside the five gets to the two. Second red zone trip tonight for Boise State. Touchdown the first time. Our red zone brought to you by Verizon. See Roe back in there. They'll use him in the Wildcat. They'll use Madison. But for now, it's Cozart. Cozart's really sparked this offense, and what an answer this would be for Boise State offensively after San Diego State scored its first touchdown the series before. On second and goal, open again, and he stood up and driven back Noble Hall at the point of attack to force third and goal for the Broncos. Just a great job of coming downhill and filling gaps. Penetration off that left side forces him back into Noble Hall, who crosses faces from the left side, and Wolpen gets dropped for no gain. And that is how the third quarter comes to an end. The Aztecs finally on the board. We'll begin the fourth quarter with a two touchdown game. Third and goal coming for Boise State to begin the fourth quarter in San Diego. In America's finest city, it's been a fine performance for Boise State. San Diego State finally got on the board in the third, and the first play of the fourth quarter is third and goal for the Broncos. Got a ton of receivers on the field, a lot of tight ends, reading your keys, alignment and assignment, so important here. Cozart, the quarterback. Cozart tosses it out the back of the end zone. He was chased and pressured by Tariq Thompson, so just has to dump it off. Fourth and goal, the Broncos will kick. Credit Rocky Long and defensive coordinator Danny Gonzalez with knowing exactly what to expect. They brought outside pressure by Tariq Thompson into the face of Cozart, who smartly got rid of the football, but that play never had a chance. There's an example where play calling did determine the outcome. So Hogarth on for the short field goal, 19 yards, perfect on the year. Skillen's the holder. The short field goal spins in there. 24-7 Boise State. As we look at our Bud Light game summary, a game that has been dominated by Boise State. Look at that bottom line. Rashad Penny, 24 rushing yards. He's been averaging 165. It's the tackles for loss that catch my eye. Coming into tonight's game, Boise State was 10th in the Mountain West Conference, only 30 on the year, 12 tonight. Mm. That is domination at the point of attack. And yet 14.52 to go in the fourth. Boise State has only one offensive touchdown and one in special teams, one on defense in the first half, and a chance for another breaker. It's... 
Chapman over the middle. Holder makes the grab across the 40-yard line. First down again, San Diego State. Aztecs trailing by 17, not in a rush yet. Love the play fake here. Chapman comes up and throws the football right before Michael Holder starts to turn around. Great anticipation and a nice example of Holder finding a hole inside that zone coverage. Just a simple pitch and catch. That's a perfect example of how Chapman's game has elevated at the quarterback position. That was a big throw. First and ten, fake it. Chapman on the roll. It's complete. That's Washington out of the backfield. Washington across the 40, knocked out. Williams shoves it out as the Aztecs move it again. Now inside the Bronco 40. Love the play calling here of Jeff Horton. And remember, Carter, this drive started with successful run on the ground. Rashad Penny, an eight-yard run, the second longest of the night. Now the play-action game starts to open up. If you're Jeff Horton, you like that because it forces you and your Boise State defensively to determine how you're going to play your safeties. Total of 31 yards on the last two completions as Penny goes hurtling over the first defender, but then he's shoved down again. That's a spectacular gain of one. Carter, look at Boise State defensively. They are just jamming the box. Safeties at 10 yards to the line of scrimmage. They've got everybody loaded up inside there, and there's just no place to run. Just a bunch of white hats. Even if Penny does get to the outside, he's going to get strung laterally. It's been a winning formula for the Broncos' defense. Chapman fakes it. Pressure again. Chapman just gonna, he's not gonna go out of bounds. He's gonna take on a couple defenders and fall forward. Whitney finally finishes it off. Now we've got third and two coming. I love when I see a quarterback do that. Chapman earlier was talking about not wanting to slide. It's not in him. Why would you do it? You know you're gonna get hit. But that mentality is also what allows him to stay in the pocket and take some of those shots. San Diego State's offensive line ever needed to be able to find a play. They've got to do it on this one. Great field position, very makeable third down, but they've got to win at the line of scrimmage. If I'm Horton, I let Chapman make this play. Under center, play fake. Here's Chapman on the rule on third and two. Flings caught. First down, San Diego State fighting, stretching to the 20-yard line. Houston with a definitive signal. First and 10, San Diego State. Parker Houston fell down off the snap. It looked like he bumped into somebody. He leaves the screen right there on the right. Chapman wants a throw. He does a somersault, but he gets back up. Chapman keeps the ball alive, keeps his eyes downfield, and throws a strike to move the chains. Chapman three for four on this drive, or 42 yards. First and 10 from the 20. Rolling, looking to the end zone. Chapman dumps it off. Short, Wells makes the grab. Wells takes it inside the 15. Nawahine on the stop. Logger's going to have to take a playoff as the helmet pops off. That first down play action passing been so effective. We talked earlier that Christian Chapman was going to have to make some plays with his arm. This was off the fly sweep motion, which gets the backs, the linebackers to over pursue. And then he just comes and hits Wells on the drag route. Really nice play calling and execution and possibly the best response San Diego State's had all night long. Penny on second and one. Left side with Borden leading the way. Rashad Penny into the end zone. Touchdown, San Diego State. The Aztecs. Trying to come back to keep the undefeated season alive with 10-06. Down by 11 after the touchdown run from Rashad Penny. Aaron's PAT is good. The 13th total touchdown of the year for the nation's leader, Rashad Penny. Now we are not done yet.
Texas Tech gold at last for Rashad Penny. 24 to 14. Back-to-back -to -back touchdown drives by the Aztecs to get back in it. Avery Williams comes down as the force player, but DeAndre Pierce gets sucked up because Penny comes downfield. He wants to hit it here, but we talked about his vision and his patience to bounce it to the outside. Look how he brings everybody inside. He wants to hit it off tackle. Once he leaves the box, he's on his own, but the decision was a good one, and he circles the Boise State defense for a much-needed touchdown. And what has been a wild weekend in college football already? Late night in San Diego, can the Aztecs remain undefeated? Wilson across the 30. It would take a wild finish for San Diego State to pull it off. From the 44, a first down and a chance to use more clock. Broncos snap it with five seconds. So Madison on the right side, across the 50 with a head of steam. Alexander Madison finally shoved out of the 25, and he does some shoving himself after the play. Thompson and Lomax finally ride Madison out after a gain of 30. Keep your eyes on 17, Ron Smith right here in the hole. Boom, misses a tackle, another missed tackle. San Diego State usually much better at that tonight. But credit Madison for a tough physical run. The coaches wanted him to run more north and south, and that's exactly what it looks like. A huge run on top of the high red zone here. So Kozar converts on third down. And then the big one in the run game from Madison. Give it to him again. With seven and a half minutes to go. Boise State moving the football, a chance to score again. Running more clock off, making it tougher for San Diego State. Doing a beautiful job of it. That offensive line that struggled so mightily early on kind of finally started to come to life. We've talked about it all game long. Their fifth different lineup. Lots of moving pieces in and out, some injuries there. But they've been showing up here late with Cozart here under center, who really seems to give this offense a spark, doesn't it? Wolfen in the backfield. He'll take the handoff on second and eight. Hole for Wolfen, stretching to the 15. Another first down for Boise State. Lomax missed the chance to tackle him, and so Wolfen. <laughs> First and ten. Keep your eye right here. Some great blocks climbing up to the second level by the left side of Boise's offensive line. That's Cleveland and Mulchin. Look at that wall that he's running behind. My goodness. If you're Brian Harson, you're going to love watching that in film. That's the sort of production that this offense has been built upon over the years. And it's finally starting to come to life on the road at the right time. Looks like a different Boise State offensive line than it was the beginning of the year. No doubt. First and ten. Just do get it off. Bolton stretching inside the 11. Parker Baldwin makes the stop. 6.05. And what has been to this point a perfect drive for Boise State. Again, Cozart at the controls. Field goal. Last time down with Cozart at quarterback. Now he's taking him to just outside the 10-yard line. Watch the slot receiver go in motion here. Madison inside the 10, pushing, stretching. Noble Hall finally makes the stop. Madison with that second, third effort gets it off with a first down. First and goal, Boise State. He literally drags Noble Hall, number 95, who comes free there on his back, dragging him and the rest of the defenders three or four yards downfield to get the first down. That is power that he has not shown all season long, but is finally showing up again at the right time and in the right place deep here in the red zone. This could be a defining drive for Boise State's season. 
First and goal. Cozart hands it off. Madison pushing again. Touchdown, Boise State. The Broncos celebrate. For a team looking for physicality, looking for toughness, looking to turn around the season, a touchdown drive that goes 70 yards in 509 to all but seal it. Boise State shows that it has the capability to fight back. Impressive. Second straight game of 100 plus yards for Alexander Madison and Rocky Long can't be happy with what he's watching. Broncos by 17 again. Not just a touchdown, but a gut check drive for Boise State and the Broncos have it. Another ranked team in trouble on this college football weekend that has seen so many upsets. Boise State in the second half. First three possessions, 30 total yards. Last two with Cozart at quarterback, 145 yards. Take a major miracle now for San Diego State. Chapman incomplete, he had Trevelyan open. One of the several missed opportunities tonight for San Diego State. Certainly in the past game as well. That's something that Chapman has to be able to put it on. He just let him a little bit too much. If you're Trevelyan, you got to give a better effort maybe to get that ball because it was catchable. It began last night with Syracuse over Clemson and Cal over Washington State. Three more ranked teams, including undefeated Navy, losing today to unranked teams. And now Chapman on the roll. Chapman has a first down. Dropped as he gets across the 30, but 434 away from another added to that list with unranked Boise State closing in on the win over 19th ranked San Diego State. And oh, by the way, Washington <laughs> is in trouble as well. Avery Williams has played a heck of a game tonight, but down 17 points with the way this offense has scored, they've got to be more explosive. That first play to Trevelyan would have helped, but Chapman can't keep scrambling and hoping to be able to do this all the way down the field. But again, Boise State defensively doing a really nice job all night long and very tight coverage. Under four minutes now in a 17 point game. Chabon has to dump, and he got leveled. I mean, he got hit big time by Curtis Weaver. Third and two. San Diego State looking for a major miracle late night. Perimeter run or put it in Chapman's hands. On the right side, it's the perimeter run, and it is Penny. He's wrestled down short of the line to gain fourth down. Van Der Esch on the stop. Another solid tackle on Rashad Penny. Yeah, Van Der Esch does a nice job of recognizing this, scrapes and fights through the trash. The mark of a good inside linebacker is can you sort through the trash and get the ball carrier down on the ground? Boise State's leading tackler does it. Can they do it again here on fourth down? Can the Aztecs get a yard when they absolutely need it? On the right side, it's Penny. He gets it up, move the chains to the 45. But 2.59, that this drive tick, is tick, tick. Mm -hmm. yep. taking too much time when you're down by 17. Credit Penny for a nice tough run there. They blocked nothing and he was able to convert and get two yards. That's a perfect example, but it's almost academic at this point. If you're boys, you expect some deep shots here on first down. Just don't get beat over your head. Chapman with Frazier bearing down. It's tipped, and it is a live football, and Frazier scoops it up, and he will take it himself. Touchdown! Exclamation point! Frazier into the end zone. A 36-yard return as the Boise State Broncos have delivered the statement they came to San Diego. Defense for a touchdown. Thirty 
7 to 14. Poor play action. Penny comes over and pass protection. His arm looked like it was going forward, but Frazier got there before his arm's going forward. It's going to be interesting how they rule it. It looks he, without question, hit Chapman before Chapman started throwing the ball forward. Quarterback's arm is moving forward with control of the ball. It's an incomplete pass. Ball's returned to the previous spot. It's second down. Still a nice play by Frazier, who's been terrific tonight for the Broncos. What was concerning there, though, is Rashad Penny just sat there and looked at what was going on, a lot like we saw Jawan Washington do earlier in the game. There was no whistle that blew. Jabril Frazier knew that, but everybody else on San Diego State's team was standing around watching Boise State get another strip and score, potentially. And that really sums up the entire night for San Diego State, just lethargic with no sense of urgency, capped off with this lackluster effort here late in the fourth quarter as the seconds tick away. So it's second and 10. Chabon flushed again, just has to dump it. He's dropped again. David Moa got the pressure, got the hit on Chapman. 2.39 to go. Well, we talked earlier in the show about David Moa. Watch the spin roof right there by 55 in the middle. Just immediately flushes Chapman. It's play number, how many ever it is, a Boise State whip in San Diego State up front. Chapman is yet to complete a pass on this drive. 0 for 4. Third and ten. Chapman steps up. Chase dropped. Fourth and ten. Moa gets to him again. Timeout, San Diego State. Now the center, Keith Ishmael, slow to get up, number 60. He was the one that got beat by David Moa the first time. This time he's in a hole coverage. It's the left guard that gets beat. And right there gets rolled up on 60, Ishmael, the center, who's now limping in pain. Fourth down, Chapman to the air, outside, knocked away, incomplete. And that should do it. Boise State takes over with a 17-point lead and two minutes, 28 seconds left. What a way to cap the night. Tyler Horton. Well, Carter, it's been all Boise State trying to ruin the dreams of the Aztecs, and it looks to be the case. Cozart at quarterback handing off. Madison straight ahead, still delivering blows. The fight that the Broncos have taken to the Aztecs from the opening kickoff is continuing with just over two minutes to go. What's encouraging is that Alexander Madison got stronger as the game went on. 118 yards a week ago, over 100 tonight, 106 to be exact. A hundred of his yards a week ago were in the third quarter. As the game progresses, 22 gets stronger. But I think more than anything, what's been clear and evident tonight is the effect that Montel Cozart has had on this offense. It's a new career high rushing for Madison. Bettering what he had last week against BYU, and he adds a few more to it. So slow starts since 2000, including in Brian Harson's first year when they started three and two and then finished 12 and two and won yet another Fiesta Bowl. And now three and two with the, the, the bye week after the Virginia Huge. game is it was back to basics, back to camp for Boise State. And you wondered, all right, you don't know how BYU isn't very good this year. So they looked good against BYU. Now you back it up with a dominant performance against San Diego State, and it's a different Bronco team at this point than the one that started the season. You got to wake up, decide who it is you are. Who do you want to be? Boise State did that. They got back to fundamentals, tackling, blocking the sleds, a lot more physical practices. They got healthy. They played a good opponent, which gave them some confidence. They found a run game. 
and the net result is that Brian Harson may be well on his way to finishing off another slow start and ending up where he was predicted to start this season and that's being the division champs of the Mountain Division in the Mountain West Conference. This will take him to 2 and 0 in the Mountain West Conference and drop San Diego State to 2 and 1 putting Fresno State atop the Mountain West West Division. They're here in San Diego next week. Clemson, Washington State, Texas Tech, Navy, Auburn, and now San Diego State. College football this weekend has seen all of those ranked teams lose to unranked opponents. Undefeated no more as Brian Harson's Boise State Broncos dominate the Aztecs tonight in San Diego. 31-14, message delivered by Boise State. And Ginny Dell is with Brian Harson. Coach, your defense able to get to Chapman, only held for Shark Penny to just 53 yards. How pleased are you with their performance here tonight? Well, I, I thought overall our team, I thought they played physical tonight, which is what you have to do when you play San Diego State. Defense played well. Uh, Rashad Penny, their whole offense, they're physical. Uh, so those guys stepped up tonight, did a great job. Turnovers helped. Special teams came through, and they were able to run the ball at the end. So really just a physical game all around. Coach, you said that this game would teach you a lot about your team. What did you learn here tonight? Well, I learned we come out here and we, we play like we practice, play physical. Uh, we're a pretty good football team. And our guys finished. We finished in the fourth quarter. Um, we were able to start fast. So that's just really what we have to continue doing. Congratulations on a great win, Coach. All right. Thank you. Thank you. 31-14, the Broncos are 2-0 in Mountain West Conference play, and San Diego State loses for the first time. So for our producers, Scott Brandwine, director Matt Plundo, Aaron Taylor, Ginny Dell, our entire crew, I'm Carter Blackburn. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. The Broncos bring the fight to San Diego 31-14. Now back to Brent and Christian for Inside College Football.